war. War never changes. Hey, what is up guys? Hector Sherlock here once again, bringing you another Fallout 4 quest mod. Now, today we're going to be checking out Afgrun Dodds Fall, made by a slack snoff side. Uh, check out the description, it says, Hello to all, I am very proud to release this project that has been on my mind for years now. I present to you, Avgrun Dodds Fall Labyrinth. This is a multi-level dungeon full of disaster and delight. Travel deep inside this masterpiece searching through the unknown. Find switches to unlock all the gates as you embark on this adventure through this perilous setting. Left is right and up is down. Try to keep moving forward. Amazing features and bloodthirsty beings await your arrival. No spoilers. You must find the secrets that lie beneath yourself. This is a project I started years ago in Skyrim, but neither I nor my PC at the time had the fortitude to finish this beast. Haunting my every gamer mod, it has been waiting in my head. I finally mustered up the power to bring life to this mod, and it is grand. I was working on a quest for this level, but having technical difficulties, I decided to push the release sooner and follow up with the quest later. I'm still learning, and this is my first true dungeon. Heavenly Skyrim inspired, extremely colorful and alive. This terrifying place will change how you think of Fallout. I have dumped my soul into this one, ladies and gents, and I hope this wonder awes everyone the way I felt when I was creating it. I'm de I am most definitely not going anywhere. I truly love the creation kit thing and I already have numerous of other builds planned. Come take a trip with me, my friends, into this unforgiving dank lair. Thank you for viewing. It says the location entrance is in an old church very southwest on the map. So, with all that being said, guys, let's go check it out. Alright, so here we are. Um, check it out on the map. The closest thing you'll see is uh, the abandoned shack, and that's uh, like I said, it's very far southwest. Um, Avgrun Dodds Fall. You go up. Look, well, looks like northeast from uh, the crater of Adam. You could probably get there as well. But here we are. Go down here. Got a little trunk here, full of ammo and stuff. And then a little gated entrance. Very eerie, this is a very eerie beginning. Okay, and we're falling. And, uh, and we're dead. So that's awesome. <laughs> No, there was no elevator. Actually, guys, there is no elevator. I uh, I end up dying a lot of times, uh, realizing that there was no elevator. Actually, I even tried to like go around the back and like wait to see if like the elevator came down, and it never did. But basically, what you have to do is you kind of you have to navigate your way down this fall without hitting um little pipes that are sticking out and it's doable it is doable as you can see here where I don't fail and make it all the way to the ending after like a thousand tries there's actually water all the way down and you have to land in it without hitting those pipes to uh, make it so that's it's that's an interesting start to this uh, quest mod very challenging already as you can see already contemplating should I go like a different way but I mean I guess you just gotta go with your first instinct I, I don't even think there was an, another way I could go or maybe there was I, I didn't uh, I didn't check around so
Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, this was a pretty epic entrance. I mean, seriously, the skulls with like the the flame flames contained in like the sounds, the little eerie out of nowhere sounds of like growling and stuff. This is perfect. Very Skyrim ish. I can feel it. The essence of Skyrim in this mod so far. Now that switch made a weird noise, and I, I, I don't, I don't know why it makes that noise. I mean, I guess that's a noise, but still, it's like, did, is that the noise he had to choose for it? I don't know. It just, it just threw me off. It's weird. It's weird. Okay, it puts another level of creepiness uh, on this mod already. Just the noise that that uh, that the switch makes. And uh, every switch makes that noise too, so. Or a similar one. Got some rad roaches right now. Nothing too bad. Whoa! Did not notice these young gulpers here. Now they could be a challenge for anyone, especially when there's that many of them. So I went ahead and switched to my OP silence pistol. Can handle pretty much any enemy that may come my way, so. And when you look at that, when you see, like, just how dark it is without your pit boy light, there's just no way, I mean, Maybe you could probably try to traverse this like labyrinth without your pit boy light, but probably not recommend it seeing as how you don't know what enemies lie ahead or which way to go for that matter. reason I have very horrible accuracy in VATS. Should probably put points in that to make my accuracy a little bit better or something. Also noticed that like when I was shooting right at the uh enemies they were not dying or they weren't getting hit I don't know why that is maybe there's like a glitch or something but I don't know I, I felt like a lot of the times where I was shooting my gun directly at the enemies like the bullets was just not connecting for, for one reason or another So as you can see, it's like you, you have multiple pathways after each jo uh, door, so you never really know where to go. You kind of just got to you know, take your gut instinct and uh, hope that's the right way. mole rat was feisty did you see that it like cannonballed under the water it was like i'm gonna get you and that's a lot of mirror lork uh eggs and by the sound of it they all had just hatched as i like crossed that that uh curve right there yeah and then you see here, I'm shooting directly at them, and yet no damage. They're not taking any damage. I don't know if that's just a glitch in this mod, or uh, if they, uh, because there were so many enemies that 
it just wasn't registering like it was taking a longer time to register my bullets but I was freaking out at this part I was not happy I was like what the crap man Jesus can I just kill them no all right cool cool beans The struggle was real. The struggle to cure the to kill these mirror attacklings was real. It's like my bullets did not connect and I shot directly at it, but as soon as I walked up close Man, look at that, a legendary hound. So, so far we, we've encountered uh, quite the diversity of enemies from mole rats to gulpers to mere lurks to now hounds. It seems this labyrinth holds all of the enemies that you would probably encounter in the like, normal uh, commonwealth, which is fine. I mean, definitely creates a challenge, which is fine, I guess. Nope, bad enough. You're in a dungeon, but... The hardest part is remembering which way you came from. So many dead ends here. like a thousand times I don't know why I kept going back to the same place if I would have just went back to the water like I had started and this is probably the most interesting thing about this uh, quest mod is that the hidden treasure is in hollowed out rocks so most of the time when you're finding like the good good treasure it's going to be inside of a rock probably underwater and it'll it'll just be called hollow, uh, hollowed out rock and it'll have uh, some, some goodies in there some loot He freaked out at that part. He popped out of nowhere and just started screaming. I was like, no. And then he like alerted like every mirror alert like in the place. I was like, what is this cancer? Why? Why me?
I was totes confused as to where to go. Dog meat was just cooling it at the bottom of the water, at the bottom of the steps under the water. Man, he has, he can hold his breath for a while. I was like, what? So I finally realized that I had to go back the way I had came in the beginning. It was confusing, but this was the right way. It I that other uh, switch opened up this gate, which led us here. So. So we're nearing, we're nearing, ha, in, uh, nearing the end of this video. Uh, not gonna lie, it's pretty difficult. It's, it's pretty difficult uh, labyrinth. This quest is not easy at all. I would, I would probably uh, gander a guess that it's harder than DCM experiment. Um, not really enemy wise, just complicated wise. But I like it so far too, so there's that. It's definitely been interesting. And here we have a couple of choices of which way to go, but we will choose in the next episode. So thanks again for watching, guys. You guys rock. Stay tuned for more, and as always, peace. So right away we hear a couple of gunshots in the distance. That had me really interested. I was like, oh, what's going on?